Tonight, a father is remembering a 16 year old son who died days after prosecutors say another teen shot him in the eye. It happened at a home in New Hope earlier this month after witnesses say the two had been playing with the gun. Ben Henry spoke with that father tonight. He has his message and details of the case, including an upgraded charge. He's a beautiful kid, as you see. Well, special to him, Kerry Reed wishes he didn't have to wear this shirt. We love him. He'll always be in our memories. In loving memory is printed above a picture of his 16-year-old son, Kier Reed. He's got brothers and sisters, and they're going to really take this hard. Investigators say the teen was shot September 18th at a home in New Hope near 60th and Quebec Avenues North. He died six days later. 17-year-old Anthony Wirtjes is now charged with second-degree manslaughter. According to court documents, Wirtjes told investigators he was sleeping and woke up to a gunshot and thought Reed shot himself. But evidence at the scene and the accounts of two witnesses contradicted Wirtjes' story. Police later determined Wirtjes fired the shot that struck Reed in the eye. I sit here and I know that he is deceased. Um, I go through the memories in my head that we created before he passed. My dad out there have fun. Carrie says one of those memories was this at a Florida beach. He had the time of his life. But as he holds those memories close to heart, he's pushing for more answers. I can't bring them back. No one can. But the truth would bring me somewhat peace. The 17 year old is also charged with having a ghost gun. They're built with untraceable parts often bought as a kit or in separate pieces. Court documents show the Hennepin County Attorney's Office is working to try the 17 year old as an adult. Reed's family has set up a GoFundMe to help with his funeral. We will have a link for that on this story on the KSTP app. Lindsay. Tough time for that family, Ben. Thank you.